This video is part of the Talkback 101 series and is lesson four, where we're going to go over the new screen search feature, fingerprint sensor gestures, continuous reading, and other helpful Talkback settings. Hi everyone, it's Carrie from Live Accessible, and as I mentioned, this is lesson four in the Talkback 101 series. If you are new to Talkback, definitely check out my video playlist on other Talkback tutorials, which I will link up here in the YouTube card and in the description below. And also on my website, I have a lot of different resources for people that are using Talkback, and I will link that down in the description as well. We've already gone over some of the basics, um, back and forth and angle gestures, and today we're going to go over a lot more. But hey, if you're new here, welcome to the channel. We do videos on technology, tips, and encouragement for people who are blind, visually impaired, and sighted supporters. Consider subscribing and hitting the bell for more videos like these. So the first thing is the screen search. In my last video, I talked about angle gestures and that there was one angle gesture that was unassigned. And now swiping left and down will actually bring up screen search. This will allow you to search anywhere that is visible on the screen. And right now it's only limited to that, but I hope that Google develops this further and makes it more of a window search so that you can search a part of an app or a whole web page so you don't have to scroll through anything and it can search that whole window. Um, but right now it can be useful if there's something that you can't find that you know is supposed to be there. So here I am on YouTube and if I swipe left and down. Screen search, clear input, button, out of list, double dash tap to activate. It will take me to an edit field where I can type something and just to show you guys, let's look for the play button. P, P, L, L, two matches, A, A, one match. Okay, so there's one match, and if I swipe to the right, I can find the play button, and I can double tap on that, and, and it will take me to the play button, and I can double tap now, and it will start playing the video. If you have a phone with a fingerprint sensor, you can use that sensor and add more gestures to TalkBack. You can get there by going to the TalkBack settings, so you can swipe down and to the right. Alert, global context menu. You'll go to the global TalkBack menu and you can swipe to the right until you get to TalkBack settings. Read from next, repeat lap, spell last, copy last, stutter, screen search, TalkBack settings. Double dash tap to activate. You can also find the screen search in the global talkback menu if you want to pull up the screen search in that way. So I'm going to double tap on talkback settings. Pixel launcher, talkback settings, version 7, 3023984594. And I'm going to swipe to the right. Speech, have text to speech, verbosity. Shake to start, continue, speak past other feedback, vibration feedback, sound feedback, sound feedback, audio ducking, navigation, automatically scroll list, single dash tap, show context, gestures. Selector. Now I'm going to double tap on selector. 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 Selector activation. Swipe up and down on the fingerprint sensor to select to set it. Swipe up and down on the screen to change the setting value. On. Switch. In list. Six items. So I have this on and when I swipe up and down on the fingerprint sensor, it takes you to different options. So you can select um, here what you want to cycle through in way of settings on the finger using the fingerprint sensor So right now I have the speech rate on Robosity navigation and I have audio ducking off so if I Take my phone and I swipe down on the fingerprint sensor navigation it says navigation Robosity speech rate speech rate Navigation. And it goes back to navigation. So if it says navigation, I can swipe up and down on the screen. Characters, words, lines, paragraphs. And do the normal talk back navigation modes. And if I swipe down on that fingerprint gesture again, verbosity. it goes to verbosity. And if I swipe up and down on the screen, custom verbosity is now active. With one finger, low verbosity is now active it will cycle through the different verbosity options. And if I swipe down again on the fingerprint speech sensor, rate. the speech rate, um, if I swipe down, speech rate, speech rate 25, speech rate 20, speech rate 15, speech rate 30%. You can see that I can control the speech rate. 
You can also do other gestures. If you go back, I'm going to do the back gesture, which is down and left. Talk back. I'm going to swipe to the left. Selector, gestures. And I am going to double tap on gestures. Gestures, navigate up. Here in the gestures menu, you can change any of the talk back gestures to do whatever action you want. So if you don't like the default, you can change it. If you like the defaults, then just, you know, just keep it hot as it is. But there is the ability to customize it as you choose. And right here, it's actually all near to the bottom of the screen. So what I'm going to do is I am going to slide two fingers up and you can hear that TalkBack is telling me that I am going down a list because of those beeps are more high pitched. So now I'm just going to use Explore by Touch and put my finger on the screen. Open paren, experimental, close paren, tap on side, tap device. Okay, so I'm going right to swipe left swipe on finger, back swipe down to the on left. Fingerprint sensor. Swipe up on fingerprint sensor. Select previous setting. So if you have the selector on, which we did just turn on, um, you have these options, which is swipe up on fingerprint sensor, select previous setting. Swipe up on fingerprint sensor, swipe down. Swipe down on fingerprint sensor, select next setting. But you can also change that. So you don't need to have the selector on if you don't want to be able to cycle through speech rate and verbosity and navigation and audio ducking. You can set the fingerprint sensor gestures to something else. You can also um, swipe left and swipe right. For my swipe left, I open the edit options nope. and swiping right will actually read from the next item. So if I swipe right, open paren experimental close paren tap on side of device heading single side tap on a side double side tap. It will start continuous reading from the next item. There are also some other um, experimental gestures like tapping the side of your device. Uh, I haven't had a very good experience with those, but you can try it out if you want. Uh, if there's something specific you want TalkBack to do um, when you tap or double tap the side of your device, that might be something that you can look into. But I accidentally bump it all the time and also uh, when I actually do want to use that gesture, it doesn't work. So it's a little bit finicky, which is probably why it says experimental. I also want to talk about continuous reading with TalkBack. If you go back to the TalkBack settings um, and you swipe left. Sound feedback, sound feed, vibration feed, other feed, speak password, shake to start continuous reading, disable. It says shake to start continuous reading and you can enable this if you want to shake your device for it to start reading from where it currently is. So if I turn that on shake to start very light and I sit very light. If I shake my phone. Speak passwords. Passwords only spoken when using headphones off other feedback heading vibration feedback off. Sound so you can see that even though it says very light, I have to shake it pretty hard for it to start reading. And so I kind of feel a little bit silly shaking my phone that hard. And then sometimes it will just randomly, when I'm not trying to do it, it will start reading. So I usually like to have that disabled. So I'm going to go back and disable that. Shake to, shake to start continuous reject. Very disabled. You can also go to the global talkback menu, which again is down right. Alert global context menu. Read from top. And you can select read from top or read from next item. If you swipe to the right, you get read from next item. So I like to do that, but I also like to have the swipe right on the fingerprint sensor to start the continuous reading. Something else about the continuous reading that I like about talkback is recently they updated it. So if you start reading from the next item, so if I double tap there. Talk back settings, speak passwords, passwords only spoken when using headphones, off, other feedback. It will Heading. start Vibration reading feedback. continuously. And on. if I sound swipe to the on. left. 50, sound feedback on. 
Sound feedback, box sound feedback, vibration feedback, other feedback, speak passwords, shake to start continuous reading, disable, speak passwords, passwords only spoken. It will actually, phones. so if I swipe to the left, it will go back, but it will continue reading. So this is helpful if, especially if you're reading an article and you just didn't hear the last um, paragraph and you want to go back and read it again, then you can swipe to the left and you don't need to do another gesture to start that continuous reading again. It will just read out to you and this is also helpful if you are in an article and there's a bunch of advertisements and you can swipe to the right and skip them all and you don't have to start continuous reading again it'll just keep reading it and you can skip through the advertisements faster now in the talkback settings I wanted to go over a few things so if um, I go I went back to the top of the menu and I swipe to the right speech heading text to speech settings You've got text-to-speech settings, verbosity. verbosity, so that can change um, what TalkBack tells you. If it, um, if it says button or if it gives you um, some prompting like double tap or double tap and hold. And so you can change the verbosity level here. Shake to start continuous reading. We Just went speak. over that already. Speak passwords. Passwords only spoken when using headphones. Off. So pretty much that just if you want this password spoken aloud, you can check that. Or if you want it only when you're using headphones, you can check that. Other feedback, heading, vibration feedback, off. I do not have the vibration feedback because I find it a little bit too much to handle. There's a lot of it going on. So I prefer to have that off, um, but you do have the option to turn that on. Sound feedback, on. I definitely use the sound feedback. It gives you a lot of audi auditory cues on uh, what's going on in the screen. Like if you double tap, it will make a little sound to signify that it uh, heard the command in a way. Or when you're scrolling through a list, the higher up on the list, the lower the pitch and the further down on the list, the higher the pitch. So. You can hear that here on this screen. I was just scrolling with two fingers up and down on the screen and you can hear where you are approximately on the list just by listening to the sounds. The next one is... Sound feedback volume, 50% of speech volume. Um, you can change these sound feedback. So if you want it louder or softer, you can change it here. Audio ducking, decrease other audio volume while speaking on. So you can turn that on if you want, like if you have music playing in the background, it will lower that music volume. Or if you don't want it to do that, you can turn this off. Navigation, heading, automatically scroll lists, on. I prefer to have that on, definitely, and I recommend that you do the same. Um, it's, it's, uh, you have to manually scroll the list with two fingers or a back and forth gesture to be able to move through lists. You can't swipe to the right to do that so um, I would suggest that you keep this on single dash tap activation open paren experimental close paren tap on currently focused item to activate off so um, this is experimental and <laughs> I find that the experimental things um, really have a good label so I prefer to keep that off um, you can experiment with it if you so choose but I have not had a very good experience with that show context menu is list on uh, this is um, on by default and it is um, the easier l way to learn TalkBack. But if you turn this off, it makes the global and the local context menu a completely different format and um, worthy of a completely different video. So um, if you are new to TalkBack, just keep this on. And this reverts to TalkBack as it was nearer to the beginning of uh, development. But I will say that it has certain advantages, which um, I can go over in a later video. Gestures. So gestures, we've already gone over that. Selector. And selector. Keyboard shortcuts. Keyboard shortcuts. I have a list on my website in case you guys want to know the keyboard shortcuts that come with TalkBack. If you're plugging a USB keyboard or using a Bluetooth keyboard. Custom labels. We will go over custom labels in a completely different video. 
Explore by touch on. And explore by touch, this is on automatically. And this allows you to use one finger and slide it across the screen and it will tell you what is under your finger. Enhanced focus. Move focus to starting your previous position when changing screens. On. I would definitely keep this on. Miscellaneous. Heading. Dim screen. Do not dim screen when talk back is on. Off. This will give you the option of something similar to iPhone screen curtain. And so if you want to save battery life or if you just want to have uh, some kind of privacy on your screen, you can turn this on. You can also dim the screen in the global context menu. Again, that's down right and swipe right until you hear dim screen and double tap. Open talk developer settings. So those are the talkback settings. There's some more about developer settings, but I really am not a developer, so I don't really know what those do. So, but those are the ones that you guys can change or see what's better for you. So that's it for this one. Now you know about the new screen search feature, continuous reading, fingerprint sensor gestures, and talkback settings. I'd really like to hear from you guys. What are some things that you struggle with when it comes to talkback? Or what are some things that you'd like to learn about talkback? I will be doing a video on Facebook Messenger in the next couple of weeks. So be looking out for that. I know a lot of people um, do struggle with Facebook and <laughs> Messenger. I know I do, but there are some tips that might be able to help you so stay tuned for that and as always if you like this video give it a thumbs up below and hit subscribe and the bell for more videos on how you can live accessible thanks for watching everyone and i will see you guys in the next one